Hey Libra, welcome to your September 2021 love reading. Let's get straight into it. What I'm seeing for you is that you were hoping for an opportunity that it didn't and it didn't come. Four of Cups in the reverse. You're feeling a little bit jaded. We have also the Four of Swords in the reverse. I'm getting that you really don't know how to make a move. You want to make a move because after the Four of Cups in the reverse, we have the Eight of Wands. You want momentum, you want communication, you want forward movement because after the Four of Swords in the reverse, we also have the Chariot. So, you know, you can see this is mirroring. These energies are coming up twice. Okay, so I feel like you're keeping yourself stuck for some reason. We have the two of wands in the reverse. It's like you want to make a decision, but something's holding you back. We have the magician next to the eight of swords. You're too much in your head and it's blocking your progress. It's blocking your manifestation. You know, we know the magician talks about magic and, um, and making things happen. Wishes, you know, what, what we focus on, we get. Wishes can come true if only we believe, but for some reason you're not believing. You're overthinking. And it's keeping you stuck on the fence. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who doesn't know where to invest their time, energy. They don't know what action to take. So, what's going on here? Fears are blocking your intuition. We have the devil next to the high priestess. We know that the devil is self-sabotaging behaviors, including fear. Um, fear is an illusion um, and it keeps us stuck. It holds us back. You know, the devil can also represent other destructive, toxic behaviors as well. Um, so it can be anything. Codependency, um, ego, materialism, whatever it is that you're holding on to, you're attached to. Whatever is keeping you stuck, it is blocking your intuition and keeping you in a state of stagnancy or inability to make a decision. Two of wands in the reverse. You have the moon. So maybe you feel like not only are you kind of keeping yourself stuck, but there's also something that is being hidden from you, especially with the high priestess next to the moon. It's like you really want to, to, you know, lay it all out on the table. You really want answers, but it's eluding you. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So you feel unfulfilled. You feel empty, drained. And we have the Ten of Swords here. So I feel like you're, you're coming to the end of a difficult cycle of feeling drained, of feeling uninspired, blocked. And you are weighing up your options, where to next. But you aren't taking action just yet. Page of Wands in the reverse because of this lack of clarity here. Yeah, you can't make a choice. The love is in the reverse because you don't have the information that you need. Page of Swords in the reverse. Or you're refusing to do the necessary... You're, you're refusing to make the necessary inquiries. I feel like you're the one keeping yourself stuck. You just need to put in some elbow grease and get to the bottom of this high priestess and the moon. Ask questions. You know, the page of swords in the upright is about 
doing your research, doing your due diligence, but in the reverse, I feel like you're not getting the right information. Interesting. So we have the Three of Swords next to the Justice card. There's an opportunity to fix things here. We have Heartbreak, Sorrow with the Three of Swords. And then we have Justice in the upright position. This is a card about truth. This is a card about setting the record straight. Justice, karmic justice, balance. But for some reason, there's a stalemate. So this could be stubbornness. This is just keeping the blindfold on and refusing to see the truth. It's refusing to take action. It's refusing, it's avoiding making a decision. But then we finally have a breakthrough. So we go from the Two of Swords to the Ace of Swords. So we finally have that clarity Okay, so interesting, we have the King of Wands here and we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know who, who is who just yet, but we will reshuffle and get what's happening with your person. The good thing is we have healing with the star card next to the Ten of Pentacles and I feel like someone has been keeping the faith that despite this Three of Swords heartbreak, the two of you can get back on track and work towards your Ten of Pentacles. Stability, family harmony, um, longevity, you know, a long and happy, prosperous relationship. Okay. So let's have a look at who you're dealing with, Libra. Alright, let's use this deck. Angels and Spirit, please show me who is Libra's person of interest in the month of September 2021. Show me Libra's person of interest. Two of Cups just fell out. It's your soulmate. Angels and Spirit, please show me who is Libra's person of interest, please. We have the Chariot in the reverse. Someone who isn't making moves towards you. Someone who feels stuck like someone who feels like they don't have control over where this is going they're not in a position to make a decision and at this point it, it could go either way so this person isn't making a move seven of pentacles they're waiting they're waiting for you is what i'm getting this is someone who did invest in this connection in the past but maybe it just didn't bear the fruits this could be a long and drawn out connection. Um, you know, the, the Seven of Pentacles talks about a long wait. It talks about persistence over time, putting in the, the hard yakka. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be someone who wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. It's the second time it has come out. Um, or it's someone that you envisaged having, you know, the white picket fence um, family with. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. This person has been a bit um, of an inconsistent or in and out presence in your life. Someone that has a lot of passion for you, but for, for whatever reason, um, they might have been absent for some time. Okay. Angels and Spirit, show me who is Libra dealing with in the month of September 2021. 
we have the five of pentacles in the reverse so i feel like this person isn't or hasn't been communicating with you but they don't want to stay in that silence any anymore this could be someone that you abandoned temperance so time time is a healer i feel like the two of you possibly needed to go your separate ways there was a necessary separation so that the two of you could come into balance as individuals you can't have a balanced relationship if the two individuals um, aren't in balance they don't have their own lives together um, death in the reverse there was unfinished business with this person um, and changes needed to be made before the two of you could you know uh, reconcile temperance now we've got Sagittarius energy here we have cancer with the chariot card we have Scorpio with the death card so you could be dealing with any one of those signs. Give me more information about Libra's person of interest. How do they feel towards Ten of Swords in the reverse? Unfinished business. How do they feel towards Libra, please? Three of Swords. Okay, so there was a really difficult ending here. Heartbreak. Seven of Wands stubbornness the two of you have been uh, resisting this connection um, just it's a great Mexican standoff is what I'm getting okay the magician this came out before I feel like both of you have been trying to manifest each other but the both of you didn't want to relinquish your power to the other person interesting five of swords there were no winners in this in this breakup the, the two of you left empty-handed okay so it was a bit of a ba battle of the egos is what i'm being shown here stubbornness is um the main issue eight of wands lots of desire the two of you had a lot of desire um i'm getting communication is coming between the two of you Um, I feel that truths are coming to light or someone's afraid of revealing something. We have the seven of swords in the reverse. So a truth is going to be revealed and it's weighing heavily on someone's mind. We have the nine of swords here. Okay. Okay. Show me this person. How do they feel towards Libra? What are their intentions? Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on things. They want to work things out. They want communication. We've got the King of Swords staring up at me. Show me how does this person feel towards Libra in September 2021? What are their intentions towards Libra? Queen of Wands. There's that passion. So it could have been them coming through as the King of Wands. be dealing with someone who's quite independent someone who's quite confident and passionate we have the chariot here so I feel like the two of you are mirroring each other you want forward movement one of you could definitely be wanting to um, close the gap and travel to see the other person given that we got the eight of wands which is a card about travel and movement and the chariot keeps coming up here The Chariot is a card about focus and determination. I feel like for a breakthrough to happen in this connection, there needs to be a clear direction. The two of you need to kind of come together and figure out a way forward. Because we have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Two of Wands. This is a card about intentions and making plans for the future. And we have the Two of uh, Pentacles in the reverse. It's someone going back and forth, um, overthinking, not being able to make a decision. So if the two of you can agree on how you envisage 
moving through the obstacles, then the two of you will be able to see a way forward. But it's going to require focus and determination. And it's going to require the two of you to work together. You need to get your egos out of it, is what I'm hearing. Let's see, what does Libra need to know, please, in love in September 2021? Find inner peace and balance. So that was that temperance card. The two of you needed to um, maybe go your separate ways for a time. Um, heal, find inner peace and balance within yourselves before coming back together is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, I do see communication. All right, so we've got um, an opportunity to address your concerns without attacking each other. Um, communication is the issue. There's a need for healthy, loving dialogue. Okay. Um, we've got relax and see where the journey leads. Enjoy the getting to know you process. So there is a journey. It seems like there's a journey. An inner journey and a, um, a journey that you'll be taking together. Talking again. All right, there's communication coming again. So there's texting, reconnecting with someone, opening up a dialogue, second chances, back in each other's world. Okay. All right, so let's get some charms. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarius. Um, we did get the star card as well. We're currently in Virgo season. So I feel like things are happening here. We have the Phoenix. So what does the Phoenix do? It rises from the ashes. So I feel like there's second chances here. There's definitely communication and discussions with the teacup. So there's going to be a meeting um, where... Uh, you're going to have an opportunity to clear the air and clear away um, the confusion. We have the sword. So that's like the ace of swords, right? The two of you had to go your separate ways and find peace and balance within yourselves. Again, we have the scales here. That's your energy. Um, but I feel like it's an opportunity for justice to happen in this situation. Um, we have the chair, so I feel like um, the two of you had to sit out of each other's lives um, for a little bit. So this connection took a back seat and, you know, you had to work on other things. We have the hat, so it's like you were, you were focusing on other priorities, other roles and responsibilities within your life. But I feel like as you were doing that, you weren't able to forget this person we have the skull now for me this represents overthinking being up in your head um, thinking about you know the ending of a situation and replaying it over and over in your mind there was passion with this person we have the candelabra but as I said to you ego got in the way we have the peacock all right this this kind of represents um, arrogance uh, pompousness and too much ego getting in the way of this situation, okay? The two of you, I see you will be having a friendly discussion because at, at, on the back, on the reverse side of this Aquarius coin, we have friendly. So I feel like the two of you need to be cordial with each other, diffuse the, the situation and just be friendly um, in order to kind of clear the air and have the honest heart-to-heart -heart discussion. Um, but I do see possible reconciliation with the Phoenix. Um, so Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to take it to the extended. So if this reading resonated with you, don't forget to like and comment below with your feedback and I'll see you on the other side. Bye Libra.